Hey, what's up guys? We're playing Pal World. Today we're taking on Blazamut Ryu Ultra. We're gonna get right into it. I'll just show you guys my setup. This is my initial team of Jormantides, all with almost perfect passive skills. Almost completely sold out of their minds. I think I've got them up to 27%. And then I've got an extra team of Jormantides here. I've got four Azerobes for me to ride, all of them with at least Vanguard along with Stronghold Strategist all level 55. I've got four Gobfins, buff one, two, three, again, all with Vanguard and Stronghold Strategist. And then I'll have my Anubises for phase two, all level 55, again, with good passive skills. None of these guys sold up though, which kind of sucks. And then in my inventory, I have nine rare multi-guided missile launchers. I have my attack pendant 1, 2, and 0 along with a defense pendant. I have a bunch of cheeseburgers and some pasta along with over a thousand missile ammo. What we're going to do right before the fight is go ahead and cheeseburger up all of the pals that we'll be using. Uh, we'll be using the carbonara on the pals that we'll be riding. Okay everyone, let's go ahead and start the process. Like I said, first thing we have to go ahead and cheeseburger up all of the homies. Let's grab them. Now, we got to do this as fast as possible. The cheeseburger isn't a forever buff. So, we're going to try to do this as quickly as possible. And I've got plenty of these German tides to feed. So, my hand dexterity here is going to be challenged. But so far, so good. We're doing it pretty good. Back to the first page. And we'll have to make sure to remember to give the pasta to our rides. It's like the easiest thing to forget. And then along with giving our Jormantides the cheeseburger too, I'll probably end up giving some other pals uh, a cheeseburger just because I have a feeling my Jormantides are going to get destroyed. Especially considering they're not exactly perfect IVs. They're pretty good, but not perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and pasta up the Jormantides along with the Anubises. But then... Maybe some, uh, you know, give a little extra. You know, I'm feeling like Mr. Beast today. Why don't I give out some burgers, you feel me? Alright, Anubises are up next. And I know this takes a minute. That's a little boring. But honestly, this is pretty essential. Uh, almost like a 20% buff to a lot of their attacks and defenses is not a small amount. It's pretty important. So it's a good thing I baked up a whole lot of it. That'll really help. You know what, even these Jet Ragons... Although they're not preferred, if I need to call them in on emergency, you know, I'd want them to be all fed. So, let's go ahead and keep these guys on reserve. Oh, no way there's a raid. Oh, what timing on this. Holy crap. Okay, well, luckily they're not too hard to take care of, but dude, how unlucky is that? But, it's actually kind of a blessing if you guys think about it, because... It would have been much worse if these guys showed up in the middle of my battle. So honestly, I appreciate that. You know, sure, come now. Don't come during the battle. This wastes a little bit of my cheeseburger time. And you guys know how important my cheeseburger time is. Uh, but it's okay. I'll, um, I'll give them a pass this one time. Alright, let's not forget our rides. They are pretty vital in increasing my damage. All right, let's grab the Azrobe. Let's grab our four buffs. I think it's time. Go ahead and boost the defense, boost the attack. Got all missile launchers ready. Let's go ahead and call in the team. Here we go. Now this is all gonna rely on me hitting my shots, dodging things that are, should be dodged, doing consistent damage. Hopefully I have a good attack pattern with the Blazamut Ryu. If it does really strong moves again and again, you know, could be unlucky. But let's go ahead and bring in the eight missile guided launchers instantly. Now, look, you can see we almost took away 200,000 HP in basically the first 30 seconds. But don't get fooled. It only gets harder from here because my main team will inevitably die. See, they're already almost all half health. Damage slows down from here. We'll be fine. We'll be good. But don't get too optimistic just yet. But here we go. As long as we're consistent with our missile launchers, we should be pretty good. 
Now, you guys might notice one little thing I'm doing that's very important, especially if you guys are going to fight him the, the way I'm fighting him. Reloading the missile launchers is important, right? You can save like a couple of milliseconds when reloading if you switch weapons the second you hear a click. Or if you look down on the screen, you can see it switches from 0 to 4. If you switch your weapon the second you hit that 4, you essentially skip a tiny bit of reload time. That is very important. You might not think a couple of milliseconds adds up, but when you're doing it four times every 15 seconds, you save a lot of DPS. I highly recommend that. Make sure to get multiple missile launchers and use the attack, um, that pattern, to save some time here. All right, you can see our Germatides. A couple of them are incapacitated. We're down to 560. We're doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and try to get a new team of Germatides in in the backup which isn't as good but they will have to do again he's already half dead so as long as these guys can get me down to around 90,000 or not even like maybe a hundred and fifty thousand because I can do the last 50k by myself but he switches to a second form around 90,000 so again if these German tides can carry me to at least 150 hopefully I can just do the last little bit myself get him into the second phase where we can call in the Anubises here and even if they don't, I can just bring in some random pals. I can throw in my Jet Ragons if needed, although not preferred. And once again, any time in the pal box is wasted DPS time. So that isn't preferred, but I think we're doing pretty good so far. We're down to 400,000 at seven minutes, which isn't bad. Again, this isn't bad. Let's go ahead and try to call in a few more. It looks like all of these Roman Tides are dead. Like I said, these guys are not perfect IVs here with not a whole lot of soul soul you know what i'm saying uh so those guys are going to naturally die a little quicker but luckily we've been pretty consistent with our dps so far uh yeah 300,000 in seven minutes is pretty good we've still got our first azurobe up and running the couple of the pack practice runs that i did my azurobes would die real early and that would cause me to waste a lot of time so that hasn't happened this fight which is really really good yeah so far this fight actually hasn't had many complications sometimes you can get a minor bug with the fight where he just does that um move where he kind of goes invisible and lunges there i've seen it where he just does it 15 times in a row and it completely destroys all pals and yourself in like half a second luckily he hasn't done that and i've gotten actually a pretty good attack pattern where he hasn't destroyed my german tide so um yeah, I won't complain. This has been a pretty good fight. We're down to 250,000 with six minutes. Um, now, once again, don't don't get too excited. The second phase is by far much harder than the first phase. Although it's basically only like three, four hundred thousand HP, the fight itself I feel like it's harder. It's you know like when you go to school and that last five minutes is like the hardest part, right? Like you can get through. 55 minutes but when you get to that last five that's kind of how it is with the ryu honestly right now we're still in the honeymoon phase we're pretty good man the second he turns to that second phase also the reason the second phase is harder for me personally and this is just because i'm unprepared i think is my anubises aren't amazing really i should be using orzerks here not anubises and if i was going to use anubises i better have them you know uh sold out but i don't so here we go we're going into the second phase he now he is electric type so you're going to want ground things again or zerk or anubis are going to be real helpful i'm just hoping these anubises survive long enough to where i can slowly chip at them we also lose our type advantage here so we were riding as rope which essentially turned our attacks into water types which is of course effect, uh, effective now he is electric, meaning I don't have a type effectiveness. So all the damage that I'm going to be doing is not boosted. So instead of doing 6k, 6, 7k, maybe 5k damage per shot, really we're rolling with 2 to 3k. So our DPS basically gets cut in half. So although it's half HP, our DPS is also cut in half. So essentially you want to be shooting if you're playing like me where you're not... 100% min maxed you want to get his first phase done with more than five minutes left because your dps gets cut in half 
you're gonna want another five minutes to take them on. Um, so that's really all I'll say. And again, you have to be con very, very consistent with the guided missile launcher, reloading as quick as possible, even using things like the time while you're in the box to be reloading. Start a reload before you enter the box, and you'll see me do it here and there. That way, you know, that little bit of time you can save even while in the box. You can see I, I reload and then go back in the box. Again, you might, you guys might think it's crazy but with a fight like this. You know, I've done a few practice runs where I've gotten him down to 25,000 HP, and I ran out of time. It, the level where I'm at, I'm playing at basically like a hair's thickness of uh, leniency, right? So I need to give as, myself as many advantages as I can, especially in the second phase. Uh, it's a little bit of a mistake bringing in my Jet Ragons, especially in the electric phase. That will probably cost me a little bit. I just need to get into this, survive these couple attacks here. I am very low HP. I am taking a major risk. Honestly, okay, Frost Aliens, these will have to do. We just got to bring in something. 800 HP, I need to get out of here before he hits me with something big. Yeah, and guys, all of a sudden, yeah, below 200,000, but we only have two minutes left, meaning we need to do an average of about 1,000 damage uh, basic, yeah, okay, no, that, my math is a little flawed there, but yeah, we need to do a like thousand damage every few seconds here. Yeah, we have two minutes, that's 120, 150, yeah, 150 seconds with 170, so we need to do a little over a thousand damage a second, which, if you put it in that aspect, it doesn't sound so easy anymore. Uh, each shot is giving me, be, giving me about 3,000, 2,000 HP. I have four of them, so uh, yeah, we're cutting it close. And see, even that reload time, man, that's not small. Although we're min-maxing it by using the like basically the like reload cancel here. I don't know what the official term for it is. It, we're still cutting it close. Yeah, see, with all of those shots, we did about a hundred, about forty thousand. Ah, uh, uh, man. Okay, let's make sure to reapply our burger. Oh, see, oh, see, that was uh, that wasn't good. Uh, that little glider probably took away about a second and a half for me. Yeah, a minute thirty. Oh no, this is what I was scared of. We're cutting it very close. We have eighty seconds with a hundred thousand HP, so we need to do still a little over a thousand. I was hoping to make a little bit of headway. And I, at this point, I'm going to be honest, running back to the box and bringing in more pals is not sustainable or feasible. I, I don't think it's a good idea. I'll be wasting precious time where I could just be reloading my missiles. I think I'm going to go ahead and stay on the ground. I'm just going to go ahead and just keep trying to tank his attacks as much as possible. Avoid them as much as you can, like right there. I did a good job of kind of staying away, avoiding the fire fist there. Oh, I think I messed up that reload. All right. Uh, oh, oh, crap. Oh, oh, no. I took a lot of unnecessary hits. 47,000. 30 seconds left. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if we're going to make it. I'm going to be 100%. I'm... A oh, okay. Those were a good couple hits. 20 seconds. 10,000. Oh, oh, no. I made 100 HP. Dude, if he... 2,000. One bullet, dude. Please, one bullet. Whoa. Wait. Did I win? Alright, we're gonna need a replay of that. Holy crap. Wait, I saw the little yellow triangle that you get when you win. Did it give me the win? Oh, okay. Well, if we if we see an item in our inventory, we know we won or lost. But I think we won because I saw the little... Yeah, okay, look at that. Yeah, yeah. You see this helmet? You get it for winning. Alright, yeah. If I haven't shown a replay of that yet, I'm going to definitely... Did you see the replay again? I'm going to show... Uh, do it again. 
Dude, I need to see how close that was. That's crazy. That fight came down to, I think, what, what was it? Less than five seconds. With zero HP. Dude, if I was one millisecond off, if I didn't have my missile guided, reloaded, if I didn't have my gun out, if I didn't shoot the second that I shot, I think I would have lost. Simple as that. But, look at these horns of supremacy, bro. They're kind of trash, not gonna lie. And, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't think they look that cool either. But, look, a prize is a prize. You never complain about a prize. Guys. Oh, we did it. You guys don't know that I've been working towards this for weeks at this point. Shout out comment section. <laughs> Shout out Graham. Shout out all the other homies. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a solid nap after this. And as much as, you know, you guys saw... Let's go ahead and put the egg in also. You guys saw this fight. You saw the victory. You guys didn't see me practice the fight for hours at a time. And I've gotten close and I haven't been able to beat it. So the fact that we got this one on camera... And not only got it on camera, but got it that close. I'm, I'm calling it, bro. That was cinematic level. Like, someone make a movie right now. That was crazy how close that was. And again, I'll show it in the replay. Oh, my God. Hey, Y'all better hit, hit the like button for that one. That's all I'm going to say. All right, everybody. Well, you guys know what this means. The hardest fight in the game is now completed but i still haven't fought the bella noir ultra so next video that's what we'll be doing no prep i've basically got half the tools that i need i've got my weapons i've got my buffs i have a big team of jet ragons i have everything i need no more prep next video we're going straight into that and then let me know what you want to see in the comments. We, we're, we've we been kind of running the past few weeks on, you know, gearing up for this fight. Now that it's done, now what? What do you guys want to see? Is there a fight that I'm missing? Is there some form of challenge in this game you guys would like to see in particular? I'm going to keep playing because I love this game. But yeah, if there's anything specific, let me know. Again, next video, Bella Noir Ultra. And then after that, we'll see. There's got to be something to do. I know one of the things that I really want to do just, you know, for the sake of completion is find the ultra version of the multi-guided missile launcher. Dude, I want the legendary of this so bad and I just want to make like 12 of them and maybe retry the Ryu Ultra with the legendaries instead. Um, I also want to get more of the legendary armor and things like that so that's definitely going to be in the pipeline maybe i'll do some oil oil rig raids now if, if you guys saw my little snippet in the last video of how rare some of those things are you might not see that video for about a month but that is something we can do the other option we could play with is i don't know maybe mods if you guys know of like any specific mods that you guys want to see me do that's a possibility but um you guys know me. I'm a grinder. More than likely, I'm just going to keep grinding out materials. Just have infinite wealth. Call me Jeff Bezos. Uh, but yeah. Alright, guys. Oh, also, we could shiny hunt. That's always fun. Lastly, we could also finish the monk effigies. I'm still technically not maxed. We need to do that, too. Also, we need to max some of our stat points. My attack is maxed, but... I still have some work to do on basically everything else. Another thing. See, now that I'm thinking about it, there's plenty to do. Uh, I asked you guys, as far as feedback for mining pals about the Blasomuts, you guys gave me a lot of important information, especially uh, the fact that I should probably be using dick toys. So, uh, we're going to have to gather up some dick toys. We're going to go ahead... <laughs> okay, that... I'm not, I'm not even going to cut that out. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to find some good ones. We're going to have to breed those up. Maybe I can even breed up some perfect Orzerks. And again, maybe retry the Ryu Ultra fight. There's... Oh, I should probably 
you know, breed up some perfect Dermatite Ignises. There's a fair amount of pals I should probably perfect. Oh, the Wumpo Batons. I could probably get some good ones of those. Yeah, so, you know what? Never mind. I've still got plenty to do. I'll see you guys next video.